that's kind of how oh, no okay distraction time not that this is like the biggest woohoo in the world but do you know what this means you guys do you know what this means oh my gosh staring right at us look at these right here in the midst of our jewelry pile look at this <laughs> oh my word we have like the artisan brooch mother load here no 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 you guys do you see what i'm seeing what is this what are you okay oh oh ooh, ooh. 1928 do we see the swirling going on hey you guys welcome back to my channel my name is rachel aka lily works and we are back with the second box that we are going to be unboxing from hawaii there were a lot of surprises in the first box that I was like unaware of these designers and like some of these things just seemed like nothing and then when I looked them up while I was editing, they were something. So I'm really excited to see what's in these boxes. Hopefully we find some of the uh, matches to the earrings and yeah again I think I paid around $50 per box I know I bid um, separately for each of them but the total after shipping and handling for both boxes came to a hundred so it's gonna be a five pound box for around $50 so definitely uh, making profit on the last box but let's get in to see if we can make any money on this box Okay, you guys, we are back with box number two for this Hawaii jewelry unboxing. Now, the last box was not amazing. <laughs> By any means, it was certainly entertaining, and I basically only rescued one necklace from that tingle at the end, and it didn't have a name brand and it's not really anything. But if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, I do a lot of jewelry, vintage jewelry here. We have a jewelry, like mystery unboxing here from shopgoodwill.com where I won the auction. And as always, if you are sorting jewelry and you wanna do it fast so that you're not bogged down by researching forever, make sure you have a yes bin. Right here is my white one. Uh, your yes bin, let me pull it up for you guys. So you wanna make sure you have your yes bin right here, your maybe bin, and then I have my craft bin below me, just so that you're kind of making quicker decisions as you sort through it. And as you guys can see, I have my yes from last time. Some of these things <laughs> were not all from the box. You saw that some of them I picked up from Salvation Army, but this is probably the score from the last box and if you haven't watched it you can watch it after this this is the maybe quite a bit of maybe and then here we go with the uh bag so i think we'll just dump it i see some very hawaiian looking things already this one actually looks bigger than the last Ooh, i'm seeing some pretty things already and then okay we have over here i do have my testing magnet I have my presidium on we can do some of the stone tests later and then we still have some of the singles I did find this this is some carnelian and amethyst probably a peridot and it's a stretch so the stretch is still good but yeah these are some of the earrings we don't have matches for so I really love this one we'll see if we can find any today I don't know we'll see <laughs> But I was really happy that we found the match for the cufflinks. That was awesome. Okay. All right. So I guess the first things first. I see a three angel brooch. Tri angel. <laughs> um, with hearts and no maker's mark. I think I'll put that in the maybe. May, I might put it in a brooch lot or something like that uh, unless I can describe it super well that's kind of how oh, no okay distraction time 
Not that this is like the biggest woohoo in the world, but do you know what this means, you guys? Do you know what this means? It means that we might be able to find some matches. <laughs> Yay! I'm happy now. Um, this is maybe, I think I will sell that. Um, they're long enough, they're statement-y enough. So it basically, if I can describe it well enough, like with good keywords, where I feel like a buyer can find it online, that's kind of my decision on if I'm going to be listing it online. Um, otherwise, if it's more common, then I might not list it online. So look at this guy. Oh my gosh, is it a mom? <gasps> okay, we're loving this. We're loving her crazy hair tangled. Stop. It's a polymer clay mom with a baby. <laughs> I'm dying. <gasps> no. And it's signed. What is it signed? Quinn 99. Oh my gosh. This is probably sterling silver wire. That's all. <gasps> Isn't that so adorable? Okay. We love this. This is amazing. Her hair is tarnished. So <laughs> I'm thinking that it is sterling silver. This one is kind of funky here. Um, this is amazing. How much do we love this, you guys? How much? I'm I'm in love. That one was so exciting. Okay. That was so fun. Even though it might not go for a lot, that was still really fun. All right. What are you? Is this an earring? Wait a second. There is an earring in here? What is this? What in the world? Okay, so very Whitey and Davis. So if you find something that looks like this and it is a necklace, it potentially could be a Whitey and Davis like 70s bib scarf necklace thing. I don't know what it's called, but huh, interesting. If you guys know what this is, let me know. So I'm not sure what this is. So we'll put that in the maybe. If you guys can let me know what that is, I have no idea. All right, we have this dyed shell in an open circle. We'll put that off to the side. We have a clip-on, fancy, gold and silver tone. Let's see. No mark that I am noticing. N no, but we'll see if we have... A match to that. If there's a match to that, I probably will sell that. Okay, we have apostrophe studs. Missing more. It says Vendome. Interesting. Do you guys see that? Huh. Well, that one is probably no, but put that in the like two wear lot. What is happening here? What is happening? What is what is this? All right, let's get this guy untangled. Um, okay. So this is a hot mess, is it? Is it supposed to be speckled? Is it, does it scratch? Oh yeah, okay, it scratches. So nope, it's not supposed to look like this. This is, yeah, a hot mess. Okay, hot mess, no. We have some more earrings. This looks like it was at Target. We see some clearance remnants there. Um, okay, we have a cuff. A big, it looks like painted bone, maybe? It totally does. Oh, it might be. It might be a painted horn or bone. Look at that. And then it has like leopard print. Interesting. I think I would sell that. Maybe it was like from Kenya or something. I will sell that. All right, we have paparazzi. And paparazzi doesn't do super well. If you are if you have paparazzi in your stash and you're ready to list it and you think it's cute enough, just take it off the card and don't put paparazzi in the title. You will get more money for it and it will sell better for you. So these are not anything. So these are just going to go in the wearable. Oh, you guys. What is he? What is this little guy? <laughs> he 
<laughs> so funky. Okay, he is wooden. He's painted wood. He might have like a little, well, that looks like it's painted on. I thought it was like a little something. Maybe some leather ears. Well, that's fun. That one, that one's a yes. Okay, this one is a nope. Well, I have sold earrings that look like that, but it's stretchy and yeah, no. Um, this one doesn't feel so great. It's just wrapped with um, fabric. So I think maybe someone crafted that. That one's a no. Ooh, here's a nice feeling gold tone faux pearl clippy. Are you marked? We have some verdigris and not marked, but I do like it. I do like that one. Okay, we have another earring. Um, are you marked? No, but we'll put it by the earrings. Okay, this is marked best. And it is a shell. Is it supposed to have this? No. <laughs> it is not supposed to have that green on there because there's another one right there. Okay, so best, right? Does that say best? B-E-S-T? All right, I mean, there's some wear. I don't know, we'll have to look into that. That one is interesting for sure. Puffy shell. I feel like it's something though. I do feel like it is something. Maybe I'll put it to the side. Cause I kind of want to look it up right away. Well, I'll put up on the screen what I find about it for you guys. And right now we'll put in the maybe to research later. Um, this one is a no. This is, feels like, it doesn't feel very good. It feels really yucky. So yeah, this one's a no. <clears throat> oh, what is this funky thing? Forest, forest man with big yellow lips. Okay. <laughs> He's another like artisan guy. Oh, Joe Sam. Huh. Joe Sam. Okay. We're probably going to sell him. He's interesting enough for me. Um, we have a huggy earring and does it just go like that? Yeah, like a checkerboard rhinestone. No maker that I can see. Ooh, a little door knocker. This one's really nice. This one, again, feels really high quality. It feels like Monet. Oh, the backing is marked Monet. Do you guys see that? It's marked Monet right there. So, not surprised if this is Monet. Let's see, are you marked? Yes, it is. Around the post, you guys. If you can't see it right away, look at the end or at the base of the post. It is a wraparound Monet name. So I really hope we can find this one. I really, really do. I see another clippy. Black enamel. And this one says Coco. K-O-K-O. -K -O. What? Never heard of that. I mean, it feels nice. Feels like a nice, more substantial piece. I hope we find that one as well. That one's a new one for me to look up for sure. This one looks like a Polynesian hook, maybe? It's like a lacquered wood thing. Hmm. Uh, ooh, this one is gonna be a yes. Look at this walleye. He could go to a uh, fisherman gift. He can go on a hat. He can be a Father's Day gift. This can be yes, so yay. Okay, ooh, we have more of this. What in the world? You guys, what is this? What am I looking at? Tell me. I am so, I mean, there's no earring hook on them. So, or, or even a jump ring. Let's see, was it maybe an earring? But there's a gold one and there's a silver one. And, well, this is different. Okay, so this is not the same. This one says, 
VCLM, which is not a... I'm trying to think of who that is. It might just be VCLM. Volcom, something like that. Another, like, meshy, slinky thing, but not vintage. So it doesn't really excite me. This one I'm just going to put in the maybe. We'll see. Oh my gosh. Staring right at us. Look at these right here in the midst of our jewelry pile. Look at this. <laughs> oh my word. We have like the artisan brooch mother load here. Look at his eyes. Oh my word. Okay. We love these. Again, this is probably by the same artist, right? Maybe someone collect these like polymer clay guys okay this is so fun how much do we love those those are yes okay here's a rhinestone blingy clip on looks very worn they put like felt back here oh my gosh the whole thing is it needs a good scrubbing that's for sure <laughs> okay well we'll put that off to the side and see if anything is anything all right, what does this say? State High School Band Contest. And it looks very old. Oh my gosh, it is a C class. Let's see how old this is. 1931. Okay, so 1931. Yeah, that is why it looks like this. So almost an antique, you guys. So what does it say back here? It says second prize class won by East Aurora grade school, Champaign, Illinois. And it ended up in Hawaii. Okay, so I'm not even gonna throw this around. This is, a, this is a delicate piece. We'll just put that over there. Not even sure what I'm gonna be doing with it. I don't know if it's going in the antique booth or what is happening. Oh my word, I love this. Look at this, like, oh, this is, this feels high quality. Like that rich mother of pearl look in that earring. So, oh, it says, what does it say? Mexico. It says designed in Vermont, USA, Alia, 1939, La Mexico, something, something. So there's a lot of things, a lot of words there that doesn't make sense because it says made in Vermont or designed in Vermont, Mexico, 1930s. I don't know. There's a lot of things that I'm just like, well, this needs more research and I just really hope the match is there because that is interesting to me. Okay, this one is less interesting. Very Target looking, trendy, maybe Sugar Fix by Bubble Bar. Along the same lines, we have this thing made in China. Wait, what's in here? There's something in there. Another. <laughs> another. Another one. Again, no hook or anything. Okay, this is, I'm not going to be selling this. This was probably from Target. <clears throat> and then we'll put that to the side. This one's definitely really fun, you guys, isn't it? Isn't this one fun? What? What is this thing? What is this sea creature? Oh, look at this. And look at his little, look at his little like mouth things. What, is he a flea? Is he a tick? What are we looking at? Oh my word. He's wood and maybe brass. Oh my gosh, I, I love him. <laughs> he looks so ugly, but he's so interesting. Okay, this one is amazing. That one is a yes. <laughs> a lot of you guys would be like, that is so not okay. This one is falling apart. <laughs> that one's a no. How much fun is this one with all the artisan uh, brooches? I'm loving it. All right. Oh, we have Chinese characters, right? So what does it say? If it has a dragon, then that's a plus. Are these dragons? Are they? 
I can't tell. Is that a dragon? I cannot tell <laughs> what this is. I think this is going to be a yes because dragons do pretty well. So I think yes. I don't even know what that says. All right, we have this. Are you vintage? Are you? Are you? Okay. Earring. I really hope we find some of the matches to the earrings I really wanted from the last, the last one. All right, we'll leave that, but let's see. What is this? This one says just numbers. This is going into craft, probably broken. We have a cuff. <clears throat> this might have been like a, you know, from Kohl's or something. I mean, it, it's nice. It really is. But it'd be really hard to sell, I think, online. Unless it's like in a bundle and I priced it really cheap. But yeah, no maker's mark or anything. No. No. No, 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 no. You guys, do you see what I'm seeing? Do I am like, I am so excited right now. I am so excited. I am so excited. I have not looked at the front, but do you know what this is? This is like the Victorian or Edwardian amethyst glass sash pins. <gasps> Art Nouveau. Oh my, oh, there's a big chip out of it. Oh my word though. Can you believe this was in there? Look at the Art Nouveau brass. All right, let me show you up close. Oh my word. Okay, that one, we're, we're saving that. That one is a gorgeous piece. Love those so much. Okay, we have this uh, Lucite ring and no maker or anything. I mean, it's fun. Very like mod, probably a size eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's probably just gonna go into a ring lot. Okay, what is this? Oh, oh, a Northern Pike. Okay, so I've caught Northern Pike. I've caught, caught walleyes. So yeah, I was raised by Fisher parents. Not fishermen, Fisher parents. So I've had my fair share of fishing, that's for sure. What is this? This one also feels like polymer clay, SK. Uh, the backing did come off, but that will be easy to just glue back on, find one. So it says Giza Pyramid. Interesting. I like how they mosaiced all these pieces together. That is lovely. I want to fix that one for sure. Oh, ho, ho, I see something right here. I see something. He has teeth. He signed 91. Oh! <laughs> His eyes! His eyes! His eyes are fantastic. He, it, like, can you imagine, like, Someone made these all the way in 1991. That's when I was born. That's 32 years ago. And this totally looks like a Monsters, Inc. guy. Oh, these are so fun. That one is a yes. Oh, I'm loving this. So, <gasps> no, yes. I'm so happy. Look, 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 look. Look, look at, we found. We have the match. Where did the other one go? <laughs> now, where are you? Oh, here it is. We have the match. I am so excited to research these. And these, those are just gorgeous. Wow, okay, this box is so much better than the last one. So much better. Okay, ooh, this one is also signed. J-A-C, Beware Vampire Candy Corn. Okay, so he is supposed to be saying something. So maybe there was like a match to him. I'm not sure, but maybe there's a ceramic guy in here somewhere. What is this? Scout? Oh, I've I've seen this brand at a boutique before. So it says like this whole thing right here is leather. And it was $18. It says Amazonite. 
and it has that threader kind of like earring look. Maybe I'll just keep these because I kind of really like them. The um the the leather is damaged, but yeah, I mean these are beautiful. That one will be a yes for me. Maybe I will keep them. Okay, ooh, we have a match for this earring. So that will be a yes. These are clip-ons. Um, ooh, whoa, that's some glittery enamel for sure. Are you marked? Let's see. I mean, this feels higher quality than a lot of the uh, button earrings that we find, the enamel button earrings. Like, it feels thicker. If you know what I mean, put that by the earrings. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we have... Is he missing something? Okay, it says Trout 7, and he's missing part of his tail. All right, we're going to, like, see if the tail is in here, because I kind of like him. Um, here's an earring. Glass. Ooh, this glass is very... I like how... You guys know, I say it all the time. Like, it throws the light. The cabochons do something really fancy. I love it. Um, no mark, but I kind of love that one. Vintage. Vintage. What is this? What are you? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. 1928. Do we see the swirling going on? 1928. If you are new to jewelry, uh, 1928 jewelry brand, um, is not necessarily from, like, a vintage era. It is modeled after... A lot of vintage pieces like as reproductions but still very collectible and some pieces are potentially vintage which means older than um, 20 years so it has the mark sites and this is like interesting it's like a faceted faux onyx possibly glass do you guys see that like um interesting square facets yeah that is nice that one is a definite definite yes Ooh, another fish. A muskellunge or a musky. Yep, we have those here as well. That is fantastic. Okay. <clears throat> here is a very retro enamel earring again. Again, this one feels nicer. Nice and weighty. Okay, jewelry. This looks like you could just buy it from a bridal shop. And yeah, those are very inexpensive. Um, not for the buyer, <laughs> because when you're there, you're spending quite a bit. But if you buy them in bulk for your bridal shop, they're very cheap and inexpensive. And then you wear it once. So I'm not too thrilled, you know, with that. Probably put that in an earring lot. Again, more earrings. Probably go into earrings and stuff. Ooh, more probably we'll probably craft with these I'll probably just go with the craft mm. keychain of a saint brandy that is too um oh here's the tail anyways I was saying it's too uh specific okay we're gonna fix that little tail that tail needs to go on there he needs to be fixed because he is amazing. He's made out of like wood and he is Trout 7. Yes, he is. He is fantastic. Okay, we'll, we'll put him right there to be safe. I love him. Okay. I loved this, but we need to untangle it, whatever that is. Ooh, we have another interesting brooch. What are you? What is this? Carved wood? Oh, it looks like it was broken. Maybe it was something else. Okay, well that's broken. Can't tell what it is. Not signed. Ooh, ooh. This is a lacquered flower. It looks like it was broken at one point. That's sad. This looks like it was an orchid. Wouldn't that be fun if it was like an orchid from your wedding and then you got it lacquered and then you could save it? 
that would be lovely. I romanticize jewelry sometimes, have all these stories. Okay, more paparazzi. And I'm probably not going to be selling this online, so we're just gonna put that into more like jewelry lot stuff. Okay, we have these like three rings. No maker's mark, so not interesting enough. Put that with like a necklace lot or something. Okay. Oh, I see something. What is this? Okay, we have Jesus, but it looks like it came from an art museum. Like this looks like a remembrance of a painting or something, but obviously very cheap. And yeah. Okay, we have this earring with a butterfly, green, like something, another butterfly. This is a brooch. It doesn't feel high enough quality and no maker's mark. I will probably just put this into a brooch lot. Oh, we have a chain. Uh, I could save that in my chains to maybe like use a pendant for or something. What is this? What, 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 what? Okay, so... What in the world? Okay, so it looks like we have wood beads. Alright, so I'm not sure what this is. We have the wood beads. This feels cold like carnelian. This feels plastic. It's interesting. It looks like tribal. So, I don't know. I think I will sell it. I just have to research that more. And then what is this? What is this? It looks like an abacus or something. Um, what could it be? All right, we need we need to untangle this here. Okay. Ooh, I think I did it. All right. So we again we have the wood beads. Do those go together? What is happening? Or is this like a foot massager for like a fairy? <laughs> what am I looking at here? I don't know. Oop. I don't. I'm thinking yes. I don't know. <gasps> oh, look it. We have something. We have something amazing. <laughs> what is he? He has six legs. <gasps> look at that. Look at that. Is that ceramic or glass? Oh my word. Is he a beetle? Okay, you guys know I collect bug brooches and I think he's going into my collection. I'm pricing him up. He definitely looks older. Definitely. Um, Someone had quite the collection <laughs> of brooches or something. Wow, this is so interesting. I love that. Okay, then we have this tangly faux pearl situation and eh, doesn't really bring me joy and it feels cheap all right what in the world you know what these feel like these feel like some kind of seed they're like fuzzy they're like fuzzy little guys fuzzy little puff guys are these seeds did someone hand make these let's see um I think that these are like fuzzy seed, like they feel so soft. They feel like a rabbit, rabbit fur. They're something, what are these? Are they something native to Hawaii? Are they cat, or I'm not cactus. Are they cattail seeds? I don't know. <laughs> no, they're not. Um, They are fantastic, like they just, they just are, you just want to like cuddle them. <laughs> They're awesome. Okay, I don't, I really don't know what to do with this. This is probably going into craft. Someone will love, or maybe they'll be weirded out, but I think they will love it. Ooh, what is this? Okay, we have a few earrings in here. And we have a ring. Okay. 
there we go all right so we have this earring that looks handmade and the bottle is broken yeah so that one is a no this is not a sterling ring the copper is coming through this is interesting with the amethyst mother of pearl maybe a real pearl maybe a couple real pearls we'll see put that to the side that one has potential okay we have twisted these actually feel nice twisted rope hoops do you say anything not that i can see so i don't know that will be a maybe oh look at it we have the blue one yay okay these are gonna be a yes i love those and this actually is cool and look at this swirly gl um green glass see that one we have some mother of pearl chunks. This is just fun. Fun, beachy, Hawaii. I can, yeah, I'm getting the whole vibe here. Ooh, this one came from the last box. Ha ha, we have a match. Now, <laughs> will I, I, will I have enough keywords to sell these? Maybe. They're interesting. They're, they're definitely interesting. Okay, we'll say yes. Okay. Now I should have just bought all the Hawaii lots so that I could satisfy my need to match all of the earrings. Okay, so we have this. It looks like the match is over here. But these are really lightweight and they're not um, marked or anything. I mean, they're really pretty filigree. They're just, they don't stand out enough. So, probably put that in an earring lot. Oh! we have the other one yay okay so this one is a yes I need to be cleaned up but nice vintage like matte gold ish not shiny but those are nice okay these are what is happening okay these are hooked together with a twisty tie. They are not sterling silver or anything. I don't know. These are just going in the maybe. I don't know about those. Okay, we have a heart charm for those earrings. Ooh, we have lots of tangling happening here. Do a little shake. Oh, 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 we have, we have the, what does it say? Coco? What does it say? C-O, or I'm sorry, K-O-K-O, -O. Coco. Interesting. Okay, probably going to sell those. Fun. Okay, Let's see. Ooh, look at this baguette. Rhinestone clip on I mean the the stones are a little bit yellowing what is this <gasps> oh this one is f oh my gosh is not this the most gorgeous thing I really hope we have the match for this one look at this that one is stunning okay well I hope they have the matches for those I really really do and then what is this um, this looks like, um, I'm not even sure. We'll set that off to the side. We'll see if there's like a match for like an earring or I don't know. Okay. We have this flower. What is this? I don't even know. It's made out of something. All right. We have that earring. We have this clip on. We have, ooh, that's bright, lovely colors. Red, that, oh, that red enamel. Love it. Avon does that red enamel. And are you marked? No, but I, I like it. I like those tones. Very, um, 
I can't say grippois, but it has those like jeweled tones that the designers used when they did grippois. I'm sorry. Yeah, grippois. Okay, this is um, feeling a little, I don't know, feeling a little handmade. I do like the seed beads though. It has little flowers, heart toggle clasp. This will most likely uh, go into a bracelet lot though. Um, what are these? Fashion earrings. Okay. Mm, maybe. Okay. What is this? Okay, we have some like cream enamel. Can we get this out? Fold over clasp on like this Omega chain. Yeah, we're gonna sell that. Look at, that is lovely. Not marked, but I like it. Very 1980s. Okay, we have, this is an earring. See this one? This one is a slinky earring. I wonder if this matches that one bracelet. Oh, we have to put that by the earrings. Okay. Ooh, a bird. Ooh, look at that bird. This enamel. Is that a peacock? Rhinestones. I don't know. Let's see. Are you marked? No, but yeah, that one's lovely. The enameling is really pretty. Okay. We have, this one says Grandma, and it is a bracelet, angel, grandma. Eh. Okay. We have the back to that brooch. Is this Monet? No. Eh. If it, it's not marked, but if it was like marked Monet and it was these plastic beads, I think I would sell it for like $14.99. But these are not marked, so no. This is Oh, this is like one of those surfer bracelets. Um, I don't know what this symbol is. Feels like glass, maybe quartz crystal. Eh, I don't know. Well, we'll see if there's any more that can stack with it. Because I have sold the surfer bracelets that are stackable by Pure Vita. Um, what is this? Oh, are these genuine? I think these are genuine pearls see that okay I literally thought this was nothing because the cord feels so cheap but I, I'm wondering if these are genuine pearls do they say anything not that I can see all right okay, so yeah these are genuine pearls maybe I'll test that all right I'll put that to the side for testing later Oh, we have another polymer, polymer clay thing, and it is a naked man with a other man with the head of a cow. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll put this with the other ones, though, and we'll see. Okay, so we do have a match for these earrings. They look like vintage candy corn but I don't know they're not they're not wowing me enough and they're not in nice enough shape so those might just go into a, like an earring lot um we have this medallion thing we have this thing uh what is this called a sand dollar this actually does look Oh, here's another one. I do want to test this because it does look like maybe more than glass, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Very um, boho looking though. Oh, here's another back. Okay. Here's the other medallion thing. These are 
going into an earring lot not on eBay. Okay. Ooh, what are what is this? Oh, this is probably Avon. Yes, it is. This I've sold <laughs> I've sold this not Avon necklace three times now. So this is my fourth one. So I guess I will sell it again. Okay, what are you? Okay, we have fold over clasp, vintage, uh, bracelet. And it's marked. Oh, an Avon. Yay. You guys know me. I love my Avon. Literally, Avon is like a bread and butter um, vintage jewelry brand. Sells every uh, what sold over the weekend video. So, yes. Another bangle. That's a no. Another bangle. That's a no. This is so stretched out. Um, we have this. It looks like a thick paper clip chain, but this is the kind of style that they sell at like Target. So mm, I'll put this with my chains. Okay. What else do we have? This kind of looks like faux abalone underneath, but it's, oh, oh this is a newer Napier you guys. I think they sell Napier or Napier um, at Kohl's if I'm not mistaken. So I think just because it's marked Napier, I think I will sell it. Uh, so yeah, we'll do that. Okay, we have this fantastic, this is a fantastic cuff, you guys. What? What? This is glorious. Better not be stretched. Oh, and it opens. Okay, magnet. That is really pretty. Okay, let's see. Is it Brighton, maybe? Let's see if it's marked. Okay. Oh, there is a mark. <gasps> it is Brighton right there. See that? B in the heart. And it's in really great shape. And there's a little safety little doodad. This might be like a $30 to $40 bracelet right here. Ah, this is exciting! You guys, this is such a better box than the last one. So the last one we got St. John. This one we have the Brighton Cuff that's in really great shape and I love it. Like, I love, love, love this one. That is awesome. Yay. Okay, we have that other earring. So I don't know, we'll put that with that other bracelet. Well, that was exciting. And you guys might have like been looking at it this whole time. And you know how when you're doing something and you're focused, you just totally miss certain things. <laughs> and until your eye focuses on it, that is totally what happened to me. So I see some really pretty jewels in here. Like, look at this Labradorite right there. I need this. You guys know Labradorite is like my one of my favorite stones ever. And uh, it's like a little Labradorite moon. So Labradorite has that bluish flash in it, and Labradorite is like a grayish tone in general, but has that really pretty flash. Okay, this one has something. Oh, it's a swan is what? <gasps> a Swarovski? No! Is it really? So this black one is Swarovski, you guys. Is it? Oh, there's a swan hang, hang tag. No. No. This one's so much better. This one is so much better. Swarovski is a bolo. That is for sure. That is exciting. Okay, let's get this one untangled. I would have never thought because the black beads feel like plastic. But these are so highly faceted crystals. So now I'm like seeing that. Um, yes, score all day. I am so happy. That is exciting. Okay, let's let's see what this guy is. He might just be a multi-layered situation but I don't care he like this is really what is happening okay let's see there's a heart 
All right, I'm gonna see if, wait, there's multiple clasps. So they might be different necklaces. I don't know. All I know is I love this guy right here. So I'll try untangling this and I'm wondering if these are worn together. So we'll see, but that is fantastic. Okay, so I'll try untangling that later. In the meanwhile, let's see, I found this one and kind of fell out and it has these really pretty little dainty crystals, which makes me think this might be sterling silver. So sometimes when something is very, very dainty with a dainty chain, it might be sterling. I'm looking on the clasp. It doesn't say anything on the clasp, but yeah, I mean, it's, we'll see. Let's get my magnet. So this, those jump rings on here, on the pendant, those are magnetic, but the chain itself is not. We'll see, we'll test that later. And then here is the other earring with the heart. We do have that match right here. I think I will sell that. It's fun. We have an abalone heart. That's pretty. And you guys think you might have heard that abalone cannot be sourced anymore. So yeah, the jewelry that's made with abalone is the jewelry that's made with abalone. And I don't think they're making any more. Okay, we have this hollow, swirly, scrolly ball. Put that over there. We have these Hawaiian nuts or seeds. Okay. And this is a no, no bangle. All right, so here is that one. I mean, it's really pretty, it is plastic and it has a lobster claw clasp. It's very sparkly. I don't know, this is gonna be a maybe. Not marked, not vintage. <sighs> okay, we have this, feels very lightweight. Plastic, craft. What is this? Oh, 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 okay. We have something happening. <laughs> this looks like Chalcedony, doesn't it? Ooh, I hope this, we have a match for this one because this one totally looks like Chalcedony. Totally. Okay, or maybe Aquamarine or something. Oh, it was literally right in my hand. <laughs> okay. So that is awesome. I want to test that one for sure. And then, do we have two here? Yeah, these are amethyst. Amethyst and purple genuine pearls. All right, I'm not gonna untangle them right now, but oh, are they pinkish? Pinkish little pearls? Maybe, maybe sterling? We'll test that. Yeah, oh, we can, we're gonna have a lot of things to test, yay. Okay, we have these earrings that are weird. Those are probably going into a earring lot. Okay. This one says LS. It's a lever back, not too exciting. All right, so I'm going to continue to just go through this with you guys. Our um, and pull out anything I want to show you guys later, and then we can do some testing. Ooh, this might be sterling. Mm, is it? No, 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 it's not. But that is kind of cute. <laughs> that is kind of cute. I like these little pull bracelets. Uh, that is really cute, actually. Look at that. Wouldn't that be so cute for a wedding? And these are in really great shape. Uh, okay, but then maybe... But yeah, I'm going to continue untangling 
There's probably lots of earrings in here that looks like rose quartz. See if we have any more, ma more matches, but unfortunately I'm not seeing any of the really pretty ones. But you know what I could do with these? I've been collecting these rhinestone clip-ons or cluster clip-ons and I'm going to be doing something. I'm going to be, ma be making like some kind of vintage photo vignette Christmas tree or something. Something's going to be happening. I love these so much. All right, let me untangle these and I'll be right back. Okay, <clears throat> I wanted to show you guys what I use to clean up all my jewelry crumbs and I thought you guys would appreciate. I almost made a, um, a t-shirt design or some kind of design where I had like a butler sweeping up my jewelry crumbs for me. <laughs> I think of that when I do this. So I bought this. It's called a crummer. Um, it's where, and you can use this at your table with your little kids when they clean up their snack. I use it for my jewelry crumbs at the end. Uh, and I do have it listed for sale. So if you find these and they're really old, they can go for some good money. And right now, I use it to clean up my jewelry so yeah it goes like that this hangs on like that and let me show you what I did just pull out of that mess <clears throat> so basically not too much but there was this really pretty necklace with wood and glass beads and seed beads comes down into a lariat style we have this one, not marked, but it has these really pretty faux geode looking things. I'm going to put this one in the may maybe. It's not marked though. This one I do like a little bit better. Um, and then we're going to start testing some things. Oh, this is, I think these all do go together. It does have a hang tag here that says, uh, what does it say? It says Luna Norte. So um, I did see on eBay they, they do have like sets of like stones and this looks like maybe adventuring maybe and then this one looks like labradorite so pretty though and probably like twenty dollars or so but I, I'm gonna see what it looks like on me because I love this color when my husband married me uh, I was obsessed with seafoam green like our walls and our pillows and so many things were seafoam green uh our plates so i'm i'm really in love with that color so yeah that one i love all right i'm gonna do the sterling right or should we do the presidium first shall we do the presidium let me move you guys over here so you guys can see. All right, so I'm gonna test some of the stones using the Presidium Tester. If you are serious about your own uh, jewelry reselling business and you wanna scale up, recommend getting the Presidium Gem Tester. I have the link below in my description of my videos for most things that I use, um, including this, and it'll link you right there. So, I mean, let's, let's just start with these green green looking things. They might just be glass. And if it's glass, the needle will just stay in that red area, maybe jump a little bit. So eh, it's a little bit higher than, well, well, it's in the, well, that's definitely past glass. It's in the tourmaline eyelight garnet right now. I don't know. It's probably not anything too crazy. But I think I will sell these. Uh, yeah, we'll see what those are. These are definitely amethyst chips. Uh, I'll just show you. It should pop up by the amethyst quartz citrine at the bottom. Yep, there it goes right into that dark line right there for amethyst. This one I think is chalcedony with how it looks, which is really actually desirable online. So. It's in the tourmaline eyelight garnet. I'm wondering if chalcedony is there, but I still want to test these for sterling. We'll see 
if that tests. All right, I wonder what these green blobs are. Maybe just quartz, but we'll see. So, hmm, <laughs> yeah, it might be just like a quartz because I see some swirling, like some glittery, glittery swirling in there. And we have the amethyst. We have uh, just some chips. Probably mostly all just quartz and carnelian type chips, but this might be going to my stepdaughter. And what else? Oh, this little guy right here. We didn't find the match, but it totally looks like a garnet, the coloring. And yeah, so it's in the garnet tourmaline eye light. And that is a bummer that we couldn't find the um, thing. But you know what? I just could, I could take this off with the jump ring, ring and this could be a, a really, really pretty pendant. Don't you think? We'll see. I kind of want to do that. <laughs> okay, anything else? Well, let's see what these black, this black one does. And you know what? If this is sterling silver, I could totally turn these actually into two different earrings because yeah they're like are they the same oh no one's they're a little bit different boo all right so we didn't find the match to that but let's see if this does anything so yeah it's past glass so I totally think it is onyx onyx doesn't show up on the presidium but yeah like the presidium is just a place to start and so this is telling me that it's more than glass probably onyx because it's more than glass black is onyx and I'm thinking this is sterling so that would make sense and then I just pulled some things that might test as like gold filled or um, sterling silver or something so let's get the acid out and we can start testing some of these chains and hooks and things like that all right and as always I'm using my 18 karat gold testing acid here and I use this instead of the sterling silver acid because it's easier to show up on a black stone. It will show up as a bright blue. If it is the sterling silver acid, it the line just won't eat away, be eaten away. And the best way if you're using a sterling silver acid with it is to use a Q-tip, wipe the line after you've put the acid on it, wipe it with a Q-tip. And if it's like a blood dark red, then it's sterling um, because I think the line or the acid itself is supposed to turn red, but it's really hard to see on this black darker stone. So I'm going to line these up, scratch them, line it up, and we'll see if these are sterling silver. All right, so we have some blue and it's kind of running into each other already, but these two are coming up as sterling. So the amethyst pearl, the hook is sterling, and then this is sterling like I thought. It doesn't look like this. I don't know. There's some, I might have to test this more because it looks like there's different elements here. <laughs> so we'll see what that is later. This is not, but I still think I'll sell these. The abalone hearts, yes. This is interesting. I'm not sure. Like this one is going to be a maybe because it's real pearl, but it's not on sterling silver unless I'm just not rubbing it hard enough or scratching it hard enough. Um, but again, the hook is not marked either and it kind of feels, I don't know, rubbery. The cord feels a little rubbery. I'm putting this in the maybe. This sometimes could be sterling silver, these little balls, but again, I don't know what's going on here. Maybe it's brass not sure but definitely a handmade piece i'm going to see if any of these other oh this little chain we wanted to see all right we'll wipe this and i'll do the rest all right so this is sterling silver oh that's just so pretty and it's a bummer we didn't find the match to that um, but I could put this in the sterling scrap or whatever. Um, this one is a no. No, but I'll probably put it that in the necklace lot. This one, again, this one has amethyst and pearls and sterling. 
That one is a yes. This one is a no. It does say 12 karat gold filled, I think. It says gold filled on it. So, and then we have a little sterling silver stud that does test as sterling. So, uh, I have some for the like the sterling silver scrap. You can just sell it to someone who buys gold and silver and even I think gold filled scrap they'll even buy that sometimes um I've never done that before so yeah there is that and yeah if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up right now right down there and if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button for more content like this and also what sold videos reseller videos things like that and as always, make sure you're out there thrifting so you guys can live generously, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, and if you haven't already checked out the new store down below with all the merch, it is all, like, some items are linked below. Um, you'll see it, like, mugs, shirts, tote bags, things like that. Just go ahead and click on those, and it'll take you to the store. So, I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. I want to take a moment to give a huge thank you to all the Patreon members. Thank you so much. It really means a lot to me that you guys want to support this channel. And if you guys saw anything from the video that you want to buy, you can go to lilyworksreseller.com, click on the jewelry collection on the website, and you can purchase things that you had seen right from the video. Also, if you want to see what I use for my business, you can click on the description below my YouTube videos. And as always, you can click on this link to check out more videos from the channel. And also be sure to subscribe. Bye guys.